Hey there folks, Tony Martino here from the Essence of Travel Discovery. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Right here from my very own kitchen where we are filming a series on eating and staying healthy. Folks, this is a series that is near and dear to my heart. And the reason for it is because of a recent medical scare that I had, and we'll get to in just a second, we decided to do something about it and share that information with you. Folks, we are sitting here tonight as, as the camera crew is here and we're getting ready to make some incredible dishes this evening already this late. We're talking about eating healthy because many of you know, restaurant, uh, owned restaurant where I had steaks and seafoods and all kinds of great foods, the high end foods, eating all the time. I would go out for breakfast every day of the week, bacon, eggs, home fries, everything. And just, it finally caught up to me and the way it caught up to me is not in a way that I was hoping to and uh, not the way really I should have even expected, but unfortunately it did. So the near and dear story about me is that because of all this and what caught up was my, I have high blood pressure now, which is when I say high blood pressure, I'm not talking high blood pressure. I'm talking high blood pressure, 170 or 110. This is heart attack time, stroke time. This is not good. And my doctor said, you know what, let's take a look a little bit further because I couldn't understand why I was having some joint pain. I was having some a little bit of chest pain, not heart attack chest pain, but pressure pains. I couldn't get up. My arthritis was hurting. I was fatigued every day, stressed every day, anxiety, everything. Enough's enough. So what do we do? Went to my doc. She says, well, let's take, do some more tests because some things are not adding up right here. So they sent me to a radiologist. So I did some ultrasounds on my kidneys. Uh, carotid Doppler, a, a Domino Aorta, check that out as well. That all came back clear. What did not come back clear is when I went to my cardiologist and she says, we have a problem. You, sir, have what they call a thoracic aorta aneurysm. It's 4.9 centimeters. That is not good. So mm, when your life flashes in front of your eyes, it did. Right then and there it did. And I said, I am not going to die and she said to me, if you don't change the way you're doing things, you will die, sir. There's no doubt. Well, immediately when I went home, I talked to my wife. I told her what is going on, scared her as well. And we said, you know, enough's enough. So we changed our diet. We started doing some research, um, started doing these more foods. And that's the reason for this series of eating healthy. Because already since we've done that, I have no fatigue. I have no anxiety. I have no uh pressure pains, joint pains, nothing. I have no chest pains. My blood pressure went from 170 over 110, 120 down to 130 over 80. Folks, I'm telling you, it's the foods that we eat. This is not any kind of BS. This is true. This is fact. These are things we need to change and I'm going to help you do it. Come join me in this journey, folks. Things like processed sugars and all that. I mean, just all the stuff that we eat. Look at this. It's packed full of sugars. That is a big problem and that is contributing a lot to our mental health issues. So come join me as I meet with researchers, doctors, um, cancer researchers, you know, nutritionists, dietitians, nurses, physical therapists, folks, you name it, chefs. We're going to be going to some wineries that use sustainable practices and what that means is not only just their business practice, but most importantly, how they produce wine, how they grow their grape. These are uh, farmers here and winemakers that grow grape using organic material. They don't use pesticides. They don't use herbicides. They don't use any of that. They don't use chemicals. They do everything organic, which makes the wine that much better and much more healthier. So folks, we're going to get back to this. My crew is telling me right now, I need to get back to starting this uh, series here. So come join us, but I'm going to put this out here. Watch, I'm going to have a chat board out this week too for us. We're going to be talking back and forth so we can have some open discussion. But I think you're really going to find this to be one of the incredible episodes ever that the Essence of Travel Discovery do. So see you next time on Travel Discoveries, where you and I get to explore the places you want to go.